Okay, so welcome to the last part of the uh, video series. This is my electric sailboat. Now I'm gonna show you how I'm using the uh, all the electricity that I'm getting from the, uh, the sun and the wind. The main thing is of course the motor. I have a electric motor over here. I built this by myself. Here is the um, the control board for the uh, motor. Here I can see the uh, the voltage uh, for the batteries that I'm using. I have a switch down here. This one, the red one, uh, that I can choose. It's also the main switch. I can turn it off, but I can also choose uh, which batteries I'm using. The number ones, uh, the two over there and two over there, the four one, the four batteries are number one and the two big ones that are under here are the batteries number two. Now we're using the number one, so those four. And this is the voltage for them and this is these are the amps that I'm now drawing from from the batteries. Lift this up. Get this. Well, I have to remove this. Let's first take a look at the uh, motor. Now the sound that is coming. You can hear blowing sound. It's from the uh, cooling fan that I installed after I got the uh, overheating problems with the uh, the motor and also the controller so I installed this big fan over here I will switch it over here so I can turn it off like this uh, yeah let's pick it up not all the way but a little bit then I'm gonna Take the uh, oh. take the cover off, so I can show you the uh, the motor inside. So, here is the motor. It's rated for four kilowatts, but. I can push it to 5 kilowatts if I want. When I turn this switch, you can see it start turning like this. Now it's up, so it's the propeller is not touching the water. Now it's down, so you can now see it. So that was the um, the motor. Now let's t take a look at the uh, controller. That is kind of like the brains of the uh, motor. I have a lot of stuff under here, and I have also this plywood over here to protect that none of the stuff touches the uh, controller because it has a lot of wires going here and there so yeah it's not pretty but it's working there's also a fan over there because it was also overheating a little bit so that is the main thing that uses my electricity from the uh, batteries let's go inside to see what else I have well yeah let's go down here uh, that it's the uh, output from the uh, solar panel controllers that gives almost all the electricity to all my equipment and instruments and that that kind of stuff. So I did it because that's an easy way to monitor how much I'm consuming 
electricity at a particular time. So this is a reading that I got and I know how much I'm consuming amps. I think yeah, I have the um the bilge pumps. I got two of those. They are bypassing that because if if it breaks down and I have a leak, they still work even though the controllers are not working. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Yeah, and also the motor is not going through because it's consuming like 80, 100 amps. And the, uh, the big one is only outputting 20 amps at max. But it's enough to keep power to this. This is a what do you mean, water boiler and uh, it uses like over 10 amps it's also 24 volts it uses like four, 14 amps or something like that and if I had if I have something else going on it goes pretty close to 20 amps but it's still it's it's okay here is the uh, the switch panel the the upper one is a uh, main switch. Next one is uh, giving the um, electricity to to all the equipment in 24 volts. And there's a uh, lights like navigation lights, running lights, anchor lights. And there's also one switch for the uh, 12 volt system, uh, which is a depth sounder and the uh, the wind uh, wind meter. And I got over here. The depth sounder and the uh, the speed, and there's the wind. Yeah. Let's see. This is the main switch. I just press the OK. Now we turn this off, so I'm not getting any electricity. Turn it on. A lot of lights blinking. The uh, the radio is also using 12 volts. Should be now on. Well, there's something wrong with this. I had to figure it. It was working a few days ago. Oh, let's move on. Yeah, here's this uh, the um, remote controller for the autopilot that I mentioned on the, uh, the first video pretty cool yeah there's a USB plug over here so I can charge my um, my tablet my phone my cameras and that kind of stuff and I also have the uh, inverter here running to here giving power to my laptop over there and there's lights main cabin light here and I have another one also over there next to the head. What else? What else? What else? What else? <sighs> Electronics. Well, not that much anymore. I got these lights over here, but they are working independently. They have their own little solar panel over there and they have a battery. And they light up when the uh, when it's dark. It's gonna light up. Yeah, and here's the um, my tablet that I'm using as a as a blotter. I'm heading this island over there. Okay, the wind just picked up. I started sailing to the right direction. Heading over there. Yeah, I'm getting some speed now. But I'm still gonna put the um, the motor on to, you know, because I have the electricity, I can use it. Tomorrow it should be uh, more sunny, so I can charge the batteries tomorrow. And they are full again, and it's a free energy, so why not use it to gain a little bit more speed. 
Okay, if you have any questions about my batteries, the electricity, my motor, that kind of stuff, you can leave a comment below or send an email, that kind of stuff. Yeah. This is my electric sailboat. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.